Well, before last week, Lowell looked invincible. Then their old friends from East Grand Rapids took them to four overtimes. The Red Arrows survived and remained unbeaten tonight. They met up with five and one Caledonia. The Fighting Scots beginning a tough stretch that sees them play East Grand Rapids and Grand Rapids Christian after this one to finish this season. It is our blitz battle Caledonia and Lowell homecoming night for the Red Arrows. Two plays into the game. Lowell striking first. Kyler Shirlow back to pass. Dylan Brower taking it all the way to the house. Seven, nothing. Red Arrows like the look too. Next Red Arrows touch. Shirlow a roll out. D bites, throws it back. Josh Branning throws the stiff arm and he is gonna go in for six. Let's go with Scott's now with the ball. Handoff to six foot Eddie Kelly. Now he goes 36 yards, untouched. Lowell would answer. Kyler Shirlow, keeper, take four Scots with them Jeez. into the zone. They don't count as points. The six does, 25-12, the score. Caledonia's next touch. Remember Eddie Kelly? Well, he gets through the D, and he gone. 85-yard jaunt, shall we say. Just a stroll. The Red Arrows just keep on scoring. Shirlow again with the keeper. Lowell, a winner tonight, 53-25, the final. Oh, you know, we were, we were pretty, uh, pretty bummed about how we didn't finish the game last week, so it was great to come out and get in the end zone and the red zone and get some red zone scores. That's what we focused on this week, and that's what we came out and did. They're a pretty good program, well coached, and you know, so to be able to do that against a team of that caliber, you know, it was exciting for us. And we anticipated them fighting. They're a very prideful community and very prideful football program. And, and so, I mean, none of that surprised us. We, we knew it was going to be a great football game, and we have great, tremendous respect for them. Four Steel Central with homecoming tonight, hosting Grand Rapids Christian. Early in the first quarter, Christian strikes first. Tyler Sigler, everyone says he's not a runner coming into this year. He's not much of a runner. That's all he did tonight. 44 yards down the sideline for the touchdown. Eagles up 7-0. Later in the first, Sigler, this kid. Oh, he who, can run. Who doesn't run, Steve. No, he, no he he's not run. mobile. He can't do it. He can run. Tyler proves you wrong every oh. time. 31 yards, his second rushing touchdown today. Christian up 14-0 midway he through the second run. quarter. They also have Dominic Pais. He can run. He's decently fast. Taking the punt back from midfield, taking it back all the way for the score. Eagles a winner tonight because everybody on this team can run. 44-21 <laughs> the final. We bring back Brett Makita again. Brett, I know you're looking forward to Grand Rapids Christian and Lowell next week. That is going to be an unbelievable matchup. We figured it would be already, and now even more so. These teams just keep winning. It's going to be good. No doubt about it. And, you know, uh, I was impressed with the fact of 53 points against a similar style team, a team that likes to pound in Caledonia for Lowell in this victory. They had trouble, of course, last week. East Grand Rapids, the short passing game. And here's the cat and mouse game to watch with these two teams next week. And I'm going to be there to watch it live is the coaching staff's strategy and the fact of Lowell likes to come after you with pressure. They like to blitz guys and get after you. And they feel we can get to the quarterback before you can get it out. Well, Tyler Sigler and Grand Rapids Chris Christian like to get their athletes in space. They like to screen. They like to get it out, and they've got guys that can take it to the distance. So it's going to be real fun to watch. Who wins that battle? Can Lowell get to the quarterback? Can Grand Rapids Christian get rid of it? And I think defensively for Grand Rapids Christian, can they physically stand up to Lowell? It's going to be a great matchup, guys. I think the winner wins the OK White Conference when it's all said and done. Brett, thanks. Blitz playbook time and a little inside baseball talk here for all of you. We always pre-tape these, and earlier this week, East Grand Rapids head coach Peter Sturzma came in to tape his Blitz playbook. Now, in tonight's East game at Jenison, Coach Sturzma fainted on the sideline, but we are happy to report that the coach is okay, got a little lightheaded along the sideline tonight, didn't eat his lunch this afternoon, and it cost him. He was quickly attended to. He even stayed at the game. Of course, he's one of the hardest working yeah. guys in West Michigan. Glad to hear he's okay. Wishing him all the best. Here's his addition to our Blitz playbook, which, as Steve mentioned, we shot earlier in the week. My name is Peter Sturzman, head football coach at East Grand Rapids, and today I'm going to talk about the toss sweep play that we run. 
Uh, this is a standard formation for us. We're a pro set I team. Uh, and the concept of this play is it happens to be running this play to the short side. If you can freeze it right there a second. What we want to do is the key block is our tight end here. His first job is to try to get a hook block. He wants to get that outside shoulder of the defensive end turn. If he's unable to get that outside shoulder, then we're going to try to turn him uh, to the sidelines to create an alley. We're going to get some calls here with our guard and tackle of who's going to pull around. Again, what our focus is is trying to get to an alley. And then we're going to pull the backside guard, try to get him up to a linebacker. Fullback's first responsibility is look for a blitz. Anybody that's coming through what we call the B gap run through, the fullback's eyes go right there. Our guard is reading this block here, the tight end. If you keep running it, he's going to now turn up at the alleyway, as does the fullback. And there you see the natural progression there. And you have also the backside guard getting downfield. So um, again, the toss sweep for us is a pretty standard play. Trying to see uh, if we can get downhill. It's a play that you know can get uh, good yardage uh, because you have a lot of different opportunities. But it's very, very key to have that tight end that can block and a guard that can get around in the alleyway. You can listen to the Blitz on your phone right here. You just download the Michigan Sports Radio app. And uh, the best part about it, not that you just get the Blitz. And, and, it's and one more thing we should also mention, East won its game tonight. East did win. Congrats to them. Up next, Shelby all but clinched the West Michigan Conference title with a win at Oak Ridge last week. They could actually clinch a share of the title if they could win tonight at Ravenna. An unbeaten Porter Central could set up a huge matchup with St. Joseph next week, but they'd have to take care of business tonight against longtime rival Calvin's Zoo Central. The Blitz coming back very shortly.